We want to appreciate God once again for blessing us with this evening and um, we appreciate God for his mercies today. Hallelujah. Well, we take this moment, we take this opportunity to start off in this evening and um, welcome back from services um, those of you that attended the Sunday services welcome back and uh, I, I pray you are blessed uh, because it is very important that as the people of God you get into contact with the blessings of the day so I appreciate God for the vision bearer, I appreciate God for Prophet Samari Lagness. And we appreciate God for our, our our Moses of the house. Uh, we appreciate God for Bishop Paul Chikwem and for Prophetess Miriam Obina. We appreciate God for Pastor Helen. We appreciate God for all the ministers and uh, this moment as well to appreciate the spirit of God that has enabled us to stand till now. Well, it's more of a declaration Sunday night. I know your Sunday has been long. We at I am our Sunday began at 8 a.m. in the morning, so you can imagine. Amen. So we are wrapping it up today. Um, as we're preparing the new week. May God grant us divine settlement in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in Psalms chapter number 16, The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places, and I have obtained a godly inheritance. Hallelujah. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places, and I have obtained a godly inheritance. So, divine settlement is our portion in the name of Jesus. We're just going to take a few minutes to declare, and of course, <clears throat> the best declaration is in the Word of God. You cannot go anywhere outside the mandate of the Word of God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Amen. Okay, and um, in agreement with this, all we need to say as we're declaring, in agreement, we're going to declare, and our declaration should be in agreement. Hallelujah. It's a new week, and so may God, as we declare, may the Lord release. His blessings in the new week hallelujah well as we're beginning of these declarations the bible says in romans 8 and verse 31 that what shall we say then to these things if god be for us who can be against us hallelujah if god be for you who can be against you Hallelujah. As we begin this week, divine backup is your portion. Uh, you cannot declare while well seated. I usually tell people, come on guys, guys, let's 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 take this thing seriously. We cannot make declarations while we are seated. Hallelujah. So I said divine backup is your portion. If God be for you, who then will stand against you? Hallelujah. Wherever you are in your room, get out of your bed. Uh, start get press around in your sitting room. Do something. Amen. You know, you know. One thing I've discovered: uh, if if you if you are if you want to make use of this moment, you cannot declare when you're your when you're sleeping on your bed and and, and we're saying this and then you're saying amen while you're sleeping on your.
your bed. No. Get off. Pass around your sitting room. Amen. Okay. Divine backup. It is very important that God backs you up as we're starting this week. So as God is for you, may he release angels to back you up. May he release his ministering spirits on your behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, we we'll begin. We say this this month the number four in the fourth uh, the fourth thing in creation that was created was times and seasons. Hallelujah. As you're speaking into this new week, we speak that your seasons will be honored. Your seasons will be blessed. You will not fall short of the goodness of God. You will not fall short of the blessing of God. Life is your portion. God backs you up at your business. God backs you up in whatever you are doing. Because your lines should fall for you in pleasant places. Hallelujah. Your line shouldn't fall outside the demarcation of the blessings of God. I declare divine jurisdiction in wherever you are. God will surround you with the right friends. God will surround you with the right uh, people in this week. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Again, the Bible says, as we are making declarations this morning in Isaiah 59 and verses 19, it says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. As a child of the promise, let me speak in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that any gathering, anything that the enemy throw, shall throw against you, may it meet a higher standard upon your life. May the Spirit of the Lord raise the standard of your deliverance. May the Spirit of the Lord raise a standard for your connections. May the Spirit of the Lord raise a standard for your breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, praise the name of the Lord. And all they shall gather against you. May the Lord vindicate you. It is very important. May the Spirit of God vindicate you. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the fear of the Lord shall go before you. The Bible says, It shall go to the west. Amen. It shall go to the east. The glory of the Lord shall go to the west. Well, I declare that the fear of the name of God shall go ahead of you this week. Because you are a carrier of the name of our Lord, Jesus, let the fear of God go ahead of you. Anyone that will try attacking you in the new week, anyone that will try witchcraft, whatever incantation, spells, magic, whatever it is that they try, make the fear of God go ahead of you to arrest them in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that, and his glory from the rising of the sun. I declare this morning in the name of Jesus, as before the sun rises up, may the glory of God go ahead of you. Let his glory go and settle in the, in the dawn of the day. Let it settle as the day, as the dawn receives its orders. Let the glory of God command it in the name of Jesus. When you hear me say, Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the Bible says the Spirit of God will raise the standard. Somebody say raise the standard. Raise the standard. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, raise this, may the Spirit of God raise a standard concerning your family. May the Spirit of the Lord raise a standard concerning your callings. May the Spirit of the Lord raise a standard concerning your giftings. May the Spirit of the Lord raise a standard concerning the anointing that of God that is upon your life. I am ministers who declare a new standard this week. With our very own eyes, will we see a new standard of God? May we see the standard of this of restoration being increased. May we see the standard of healing being released. May we see a new standard of breakthrough being released. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, hallelujah. We are declaring this night a new standard. May we move from the ordinary standard that we've been operating in to the new standard in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It's very important that we walk in a new standard. Amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. This morning, as we, uh, this night as we're declaring, may God vindicate us. Hallelujah. I say may God vindicate us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Divine vindication. Divine vindication. Divine vindication. I say divine vindication. The Bible says in 3 John chapter 2 and verses 1. Beloved above all things. I pray that you may prosper. Just as your soul prospers. Hallelujah. 
I say that you are prosperous. I declare health. I declare divine healing over your soul. I declare divine healing in your body. May your soul get into contact with God's plan of wisdom in this new week. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. You will not die prematurely. Ah, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I say you will not die prematurely. By the mercies of God, may God turn around certain things for your own good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. See, the Bible says in Genesis 1 and 28, when you're reading, the Bible says, let me read it for you. Amen. We are declaring this morning. And um, Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 28. that effect then God blessed them and said unto them be fruitful I don't your man is not there I said be fruitful you see when you start the week and you are fruitful may you be fruitful on Monday may you be fruitful on Tuesday may you be fruitful on Wednesday may you be fruitful on Thursday may you be fruitful on Friday may you be fruitful on Saturday May be fruitful on Sunday. The Bible says, and God blessed them and said, Be fruitful. And he says, And multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus dominion is your portion I say dominion is your portion infirmity is not your portion sickness is not your portion ah demotion is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus as you are given the mandate to have dominion hmm, I speak this morning I said I will declare this morning in the mighty name of Jesus May God grant you increased income this week. I said, those that are believing God for increment, may God grant you the divine increase of income in the name of Jesus. Any debts that are not yet paid, may God provide for you that you will clear debts in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, may God grant you divine network. David did not know Jonathan, but by divine network, they became covenant brothers. May God give you covenant brothers in your life. May God release covenant sisters in your life. A covenant brother, a covenant sister will always be there for your well-being. They will never hurt you. They will always be there to see to it that you are well. In the name of Jesus, I declare relationships that are going to increase you in your life. I speak these relationships in your family. I speak these relationships in your business. I said, I am ministries. We speak this relationship towards you. In the name of Jesus, I mean covenant brotherhoods. Covenant, when I say brotherhood, I don't, I don't mean kingdom of darkness. I mean covenant brothers, covenant sisters. In the name of Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus. Um, as we start this week, may the Lord accelerate your growth and your development in every area of your life. Increased speed. I am ministries who speak speed. Accelerated growth. Accelerated growth. Accelerated growth. Accelerated development. Whatever project that was studied upon, may with our eyes let us see accelerated growth. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May God release unexpected goodness in this new week. Oh, hallelujah. Wonderful surprises are going to be your portion this week. Yes, who says that you're always going to be taken up by evil? The Spirit of the Lord is raising a standard. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. May God, for those that are believing God for contracts, may the Lord release it. Hallelujah. For every worker that is out there believing God for new contracts, may the Lord release it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, some of you, it is your birthday. You, you are entering into a birthday. I speak you know, that in the seasons of your new day, uh, the sun will not smite you by day. I say the moon will not smite you by the night. I say God presumes you're going in. God presumes you're going out. You will be blessed in the city. You will be blessed in the countryside. 
upon your life may the angels of the new season go ahead of you i said the seasons of god that have been projected upon your life we speak that you shall walk into seasons of divine encounters seasons of happiness seasons of joy and seasons whereby you will testify of the goodness of god praise the name of the lord i said praise the name of the lord in this season may there be a good healthy cash flow that flows in your life you see these things are our portion hallelujah so we speak cash flow cash flow of dollars cash flow of pound cash flow of gold and silver cash flows in your life in the name of jesus not small money i mean money that is of a blessing upon your life in the name of jesus receive of it i said receive of it in the name of jesus as we're beginning this week the bible says the wicked gather for the righteous to inherit may wealth transfers take place uh, you will see with your very hands a transfer of wealth from somebody to your hands that you did not expect in the name of jesus receive of it in the name of jesus the bible says isaiah 45 and verses 2 i held Cyrus by the right hand to go ahead to break the bars of iron the, the gates of brass and the bars of iron and to give him hidden secret treasures of darkness in the name of jesus in the name of jesus any secret riches and any hidden treasures may god bless you with some of these things I said secret I said hidden secret riches and hidden treasures may the Lord bless you with that in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you see it is our portion for unexpected financial blessings may God release unexpected financial turnarounds in the mighty name of Jesus unexpected that means you did not see it you did not plan of it uh, may Kampala release this unexpected financial blessings upon your life we command Uganda to release it in the name of Jesus we command the north to release it we command the south to release it we command the east to release it we command the west to release it unexpected financial turnaround is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus as I bless as your week is blessed we declare profits and bonuses in this week may you not suffer loss may profits be your portion in whatever you do in the mighty name of Jesus profits at your workplace profits in your business profits in in whatever you are doing in fact you that is here praying with us this morning in this declaration if you have any debt that they are planning to play around with you and they're refusing to pay in the name of Jesus may God arrest them I say may the Lord arrest them by force they will pay unto you what your due is in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah it is our blessing that we own estates and inheritances this week may you have an inheritance in your name in your hands i said inheritances these things are so uh, it is very possible because the spirit of the lord is the one that raises the standard inheritances in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah or whoever is having a dispute may the lord grant you favorable settlement may it be in your behalf and a dispute with a court case may you have favorable settlement i say you will not live out being the victim you will live out being the victor favorable settlement is your portion this week hallelujah somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody say amen somebody say amen in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah you are blessed spiritually you are blessed financially i declare openings for work uh, opportunities work opportunities to be open this week new work opportunities this week in the mighty name of jesus uh, uh, you that has been working somewhere and they were not favorable may god open new work opportunities in your life in the mighty name of jesus you that is believing god for advancement may the lord grant you advancement in your life in the name of jesus if you're hearing me say amen hallelujah as you're holding your hand the bible says wisdom is a principal thing in the mighty name of jesus and above all in proverbs 18 and verses 17 the bible says i love those that love me and those that diligently seek me they will be found of me this night as we're preparing to enter into the new day this night wisdom and knowledge wisdom and knowledge wisdom and knowledge the way the bible says proverbs 8 i wisdom dwell with prudence and with the 
knowledge that discovers witty inventions. I speak wisdom. Wisdom of your generation. Wisdom that in fact makes your generation looks like they do not know what they are doing. May you stand out in wisdom. May you stand out in knowledge. May the Spirit of the Lord grant unto you as King Solomon in his generation. The wisdom that God granted Solomon was beyond his generation. May God grant you something like that. That you'll do things that are beyond your generation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare understanding as your portion as well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. See this morning as we're declaring. May God bless you with assets. Assets. Praise the name of the Lord. Assets are your portion in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God grant you strategies for this new week. I mean strategies that are going to provide a good and a fulfilled ending in the name of Jesus. Receive investment strategies. Oh, ho, ho. I say receive investment strategies. May he grant you investment strategies in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You that is believing God for customers and clients. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord release customers. I said may he release customers. May he release clients this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said no more struggling in your business. May God grant you release of customers and clients. It is your portion. Receive of it in the name of Jesus. And, I, and may God grant you vision. Somebody say vision. This new week, if you started this week, may God release vision upon your life. Vision for whatever you're doing. Vision. I speak upon your dream life. Uh, may God grant you instruction in your dreams. I said in this season, uh, anything that has been projected to rob from you in your dream life, as the Spirit of the Lord raises the standard, it will not see you. Ah, may blackness and darkness be any in the path of anyone that is coming to rob from you in your dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak upon your life this week. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I said, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. See, it is, it is godly to be a kingdom millionaire. As you sponsor the work of God, receive of it, receive of it, receive of it. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Bible says in Philippians 4 and 6 to 7. As we read this portion of scripture. In the book of Philippians chapter number 4. In verse 6 to 7. Amen. Mm. The Bible says. Philippians 4 and 6 hallelujah thank you the spirit of god philippians chapter number four philippians chapter number four in fact as we're beginning this week any projection for you to fail you see when failure is around you even the most simple question you fail to answer it i uh, may god in his mercies i say may god in his mercies cause you to escape any embarrassment Six says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I said this week, you, I refuse depression to look at you. I refuse anxiety to look at you. Uh, I don't hear you. Praise the name of the Lord. I said, praise the name of the Lord. Any kind of fear, any kind of discomfort in your life, any kind of sorrow that the enemy may release upon your life, in the name of Jesus, we render it powerless. We render it powerless. We render it powerless. We render it powerless. In the name of Jesus, when you hear that, say amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Are you blessed? You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. I said you are blessed. In the name of Jesus. And as we are about to close this session, because we just come to decree, I decree that you will not fail in your kingdom assignment. Oh, 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 oh hallelujah. 
every one of us here has an assignment to fulfill you will not fail like samson you will not fail like gehazi you shall not fail like like judas iscariot may upon your life may you succeed like abraham you shall succeed like joshua you shall succeed in your kingdom assignment like david you will succeed like elisha may you succeed in where others are failing may you succeed hallelujah praise the name of the lord you will not fail in your kingdom assignment i said you will not fail i speak upon your timing your divine season may you walk in your divine timing of season may god find you positioned in your divine timing of seasons may no season pass you by oh i say it shall not pass you by in divine timing of season may you be planted and positioned receive of it in the name of jesus i said receive of it in the name of jesus receive of it in the name of jesus evil shall not come near your dwelling oh hallelujah evil shall not come near your drawing the bible says in psalms 91 a thousands will fall at your left tens of thousands will fall at your right but it shall not come near your dwelling i speak that upon your life it shall not come near your dwelling in fact this week i surround you with fire i surround your family with fire i surround your business with fire i surround everything that concerns your life with fire anything that will try and locate it and try and command it and try to summon it may fire destroy may fire consume may fire devour in the mighty name of jesus you will be a terror in the camp of the enemy the bible says in fact deuteronomy 2 and 25 that this whole have this day have exalted you and i'm sending my fear ahead of you towards every nation under the sun in the name of jesus anyone that will try and contend with you may god certainly arrest them with fear and dread you see when an enemy is in fear they cannot do much they can their old fear paralyzes fear causes a man to, to look like as though he's a, he's a small child yet he's a man may the lord release fear in the camp of the enemy the bible says if gideon judges chapter number seven the bible says gideon went to the camp of the enemy and because god had released fear in the camp of the enemy these men one got a dream and the other interpreted it and they said this is now gideon dealing with us and because of that when gideon broke the trumpet with 200 men the enemies went into confusion fear may fear cause your enemies to make mistakes uh, may fear cause your enemies to make dangerous mistakes mistakes that even they themselves when they look they will be ashamed they will not they will ask they will ask how did it happen may god release fear in the camp of the enemy uh, i declare you see most times we've been fighting and dealing with arrows of the enemy but this time when they stand on their evil altars to make to project arrows huh, may fear get upon them that when they are speaking they will fear to even utter your name or utter the, your family name or utter the name of your brother and your sister may fear surround them may fear come past them in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah i said hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus we command the new week to bless you i said may you be connected in this new week with every good thing every pleasant thing whatever it is that god has purposed upon your life receive of it in the name of jesus i said receive of it in the name of jesus well as i bless your week let every financial door be opened let all financial channels be set free i said you will not have hindrances financially in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus luck will be far from you all your needs will be met in this week in the name of jesus you step out of any financial shame uh, if you receive of it say amen as i speak upon your new week you, i declare that you are only going to progress you will not be stagnated i am ministries you will only progress uh, we will you, there will be an evidence in the seven days that you have progressed you will only progress i say you'll only progress you'll only progress ah uh, we cancel any setback you will not have any setback upon your life in the name of jesus may you progress hallelujah i said may you progress in the name of jesus the anointing for persistence and consistency i release it upon you you will be consistent i said this week may you be consistent 
You don't be the kind that is on fire on Monday and Wednesday you are down. May you be consistent in the name of Jesus. When you hear that, say amen. When you hear that, say amen. When you hear that, say amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 8 and verses 18. The Bible says, you shall remember the Lord your God. For it is him that gives you power to prosper. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, the blessings of the Lord will make you rich. May you be daily loaded with divine benefits. Isaiah 68 and 19. May you be loaded with divine benefits. Monday, I declare the divine benefits. Tuesday, I declare your divine benefits. Wednesday, I declare your divine benefits. Thursday, I declare your divine benefits. Friday, I declare your divine benefits. Saturday, I declare your divine benefits. Sunday, I declare your divine benefits. In the name of Jesus, you only attract good things. I say you only attract good things. Praise the name of the Lord. I said praise the name of the Lord. May you attract good things this week attract friends that are all for your good even if when you're meeting strangers may they work for your good i'm about to wind up i'm about to conclude praise the name of the lord i said in Jesus' mighty name in the mighty name of jesus oh hallelujah thank you the spirit of god thank you the spirit of god i said thank you the spirit of god in this week i speak ah thank you the spirit of god thank you the spirit of god I speak stability, stability, stability upon your minister in Kampala, stability upon your life, stability financially, stability emotionally, stability spiritually, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, uh, in this week, as we've declared, no demon will encroach in your territory. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You will see them. You God, may God grant you to see. That when you see, you will know that no demon can encroach on your territory. In the name of Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus. May there be no satanic squatters in your, in your territory. <laughs> you see, a squatter is a person that imposes themselves without any invitation. May there, uh, we declare, any squatter that will try demonically to encroach upon your territory. May the fire of the Lord devour them. In Jesus' mighty name. I speak the blessing of enlargement. The Bible says Isaiah 60 and verse 22 that a small one will become a thousand and a small nation will become a great nation. I, the Lord, will ask and will quicken, will add speed to it in its season. I declare these blessings in the name of Jesus. Go and be a trailblazer in this new week. I say, may God give, give you to be a trailblazer in this new week. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we seal these declarations in the blood of Jesus. And so shall it be and not otherwise. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Clap for Jesus. As we declare the words of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all now and forever in Jesus' mighty name. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord with my wife and children and great grandchildren forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we've declared. Everybody say amen. Well, do not forget this week our mother is going to be with us and she is going to be speaking to us as we are praying. Um, concerning the the, the, the the season of resurrection the season of our Lord's resurrection so connect, tune in, do not miss out, hallelujah these are times, This is the, if there is any best moment to be praying, this is the best moment, hallelujah, so God bless you for my ministries some of you are going to be watching later on some will be watching in the morning in the name of Jesus, we speak the blessing of God upon your life, and if you're there and maybe you do not know Jesus Christ just repeat this word, say Lord Jesus I confess of my sin. Forgive me of my iniquity. Satan, I forsake your ways. And I forsake your path. And I confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord over my life. And to the glory of God. My name is removed from the book of death. From the book of struggles. And is written in the Lamb's book of life. To the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name. 
hallelujah so like subscribe inform a friend to inform a friend and god is going to bless you comment your comments are very important in this season and god will bless you shalom for us from us at our ministries greetings from my mother prophetess emmanuel agnes yes your monday is covered so may you go and see the blessing in jesus mighty name god bless